But listen to me. If you want to win, you should win. If you want to succeed, you should succeed. If you want to go past where you currently are, you can. And if you've never... If you've never had somebody look you in the eyes and say, I believe in you, and you can do it, and you're worthy, and you deserve it, and you can, and I give you permission. If you've never had that up to this point, you just did. This whole video was started because <laughs> I know somebody that wants to lose weight and they watch those stupid videos all the time and share them. And it launched off into this. Partially, yes, because I'm passionate about fitness, but wholly so because I'm passionate about winning, succeeding, and achieving victory in your life and making sure that any, every, and all obstacles that come before you, you crush them. And you succeed at the highest level. Why? So you can win? Partially. So your kids can win. And so your significant other can be inspired by your example. So your coworkers, your neighbors, or any other person that crosses your path from now until the end of your days might just find strength from you instead of weakness. Remember this for the rest of your days. Strength breeds strength. And weakness breeds weakness. If you're feeding yourself weak stuff, you're going to have a weak life. If you feed yourself strong stuff, you're going to have a strong life. Who the hell wants to be weak? Pardon my French. Weak sucks. Weak is for losers. Weak is for the defeated. Who wants to be a loser, weak, or defeated? Not I. And I believe if you're hearing my voice, you don't want that either. Because nobody wants to lose at the game of life. I went longer than what I thought I would. I've got more passionate than I planned. Sorry about that. I had a phone call. I got more passionate than I planned. But if this message helped at least one person, it was worth recording. If I rubbed you right, awesome. If I rubbed you wrong, I don't give one, two, three, four, or even five flips. I'm glad I rubbed you wrong. Because it's not until you get uncomfortable, mad, ticked off, and ist. I left the pee off. That you're going to change. It's not until somebody ruffles your feathers that you're like, Ugh, I hate that guy. But I can't deny he spoke truth. I would rather have you hate me. But hear my message and then go get positive results. Then love me. And stay in your comfort zone and continue to lose. This isn't about love, touchy-feely, I like him. This is about, do the words that come out of my mouth push you in the direction that you need to go? Here, not all of you have ever been an athlete before, but I don't care if you've been in gymnastics, if you've been in football, if you've been in track, if you've been a swimmer, if you've been in a hurdler, if you've been a wrestler, if you've been a fill, a boxer, fill in the blank. For the most part, you normally hate your coach until competition day, and then you win your trophy. And who's the first person's neck you hug? Your coach. But you hated his ass or her ass for how many days, weeks, and months that they pushed you past a place you didn't want to go. And you were like, they're just mean. They're bullies. They're just angry people. On game day, it all makes sense. You have to get uncomfortable to win. For anybody that came in at the end, I encourage you to go back and watch the beginning and the middle. I'm going to jump off of here now, but I hope this message helps somebody. 
And if it was even one, it was worth it. I love you guys. Vincent Rose, the fat killer with HGG Fitness. The future is bright. Something good is happening. Take care, be blessed, over and out. Quit freaking sabotaging yourself and step up and win. Peace.